light over darkness, strength over weakness, joy over sadness, he knows my name. Father to the fatherless, friend to the friendless, hope for the hopeless, he knows my name cause I am not forgotten. Good morning and hop aboard the Spiritual Sports Train for your Spiritual Sports segment on Rima. At Gospel Radio, better than when you heard it the last time you heard it. I'm CJ. It's game time. The National Basketball Association was bowling last night as they had six intriguing games on the hard court as the Utah Jazz dug down deep to outlast the OKC Thunder 109-94 with 23 points from Al Jefferson. The Memphis Grizzlies notched their third consecutive win as they defeated the Sacramento Kings 108-101 with a double-double for Mark Gasol of 24 points and 12 boards. The defending champions Miami Heat utilized a man-sized double-double of 32 baskets filling points from Chris Bosch along with 11 rebounds to trounce the Portland Trailblazers 117 to 104 however comma it was LeBron James setting the NBA record as he became the first player in history to score 30 points and shoot at least 60 percent in six games while the Toronto Raptors eked out the one point win 109 to 108 over the Denver Nuggets with 22 points to DeMar DeRozan in what was supposed to be the payback game after having the NBA record of three-pointers tied against their defense, the Golden State Warriors laid down against the Houston Rockets 116 to 107 as seven Rocket players were in double figures led by James Harden's 27 points. And my LA Lakers got the win over the Phoenix Suns 91 to 85 despite a poor shooting night from Kobe Bryant as he only scored four points but had nine assists and Dwight Howard had a monster size double-double with 19 points and 18 Big boy rebounds. Rivalry week was on and popping in men's college basketball as they had two ranked games on tap as eighth ranked Michigan State literally. <laughs> Spank! And upset. Fourth ranked Michigan 75 to 52 with 18 points from Gary Harris and seventh ranked Florida Gator Rise. 25th ranked Kentucky 69 to 52 as Patrick Young muscled his way to 12 points and 11 boards. For your NBA quick dribbles, Boston Celtics guard Leandro Barbosa has a torn ACL in his left knee and is out for the rest of the season, the team announced Tuesday. Delonte West hasn't joined the Texas Legends more than two weeks after the NBA Development League team acquired his rights. And finally, one day after reporting to the Houston Rockets Developmental League affiliate Rio Grande Valley Vipers, Royce White scored seven points, grabbed eight rebounds, and had four assists in Tuesday's 139-122 to win over Maine. For your NFL quick hits, former San Francisco 49ers standout Bubba Paris has been charged with failing to file federal income tax returns for 2006, 2007, and 2008, totaling $183,000. The St. Louis Rams plan to hire Tim Walton as their new defensive coordinator. Lee sources told ESPN NFL insider Adam Schefter. The Chicago Bears announced Tuesday they terminated the contract of receiver Johnny Knox, who missed the entire 2012 season after suffering a back injury in 2011 that required surgery to stabilize a fractured vertebrae. And finally, the former financial advisor for ex-NFL quarterback Beth Young said under oath that he arranged a high-interest seven-figure loan for Young during the 2011 lockout because the player wanted to throw himself a $300,000 birthday party even though he was low on funds. Well, I guess when you want to throw a party in style, you take out a loan. Huh? Now that's a head-scratcher. Last but not least, I send a special birthday shout out to one of the Houston, Texas biggest fans. Happy birthday, Miss Ruby. Well, just don't sit there. Go now to RemaWordTV.info to purchase your ticket to Rima Word Broadcasting 6th Annual Ministry Gala to claim your share of five to ten thousand dollars in cash and prizes. Stay tuned for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle a little spirituality. <laughs> In your sports, I'm CJ. Be blessed and keep smiling because God did not bless you with the spirit of fear. So in 2013, live your 